What are your parents like, Nimona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Oh, wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that. He's famous. And I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. So, Nimona's actually some pampered little princess from a rich family. <laughs> no, no way! That's so not my thing! Though, yeah, I, I guess you could say mother and father were, like, hands-off, but in a good way. Uh, my big sister will probably take over the business, so they pretty much let me do what I wanted. Wait, you call them mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff right there. Kayate <laughs> Penny! What? Is your family super normal then? My family is. unbelievably annoying. Like, super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird nicknames for me, like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. Man, that's a real downer. For your dad, having his own daughter describe him like that? Don't you dare take his side. Uh, Juliana, how about you? Your mother seemed super nice. You met her? Yep, got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made too. Really? I wish I could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. Alright, another research station. Nice! We get to chill for a minute. <sighs> Something's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. <laughs> oh, Penny. Such a worry ward. Huh? See? See? Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along. Whoa, you've battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well... Juliana and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. See that? Victory's ours! Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of these Pokémon before our crater get-together? Jealous! Uh, if we've got things from literal ancient times roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Yeah, right, because it's not like the oh so brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Juliana. Let's get into that research station.
And made it to station number three! How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm... You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm? Oh, no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokémon here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So, what about Coridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokémon? Huh. I think you're onto something! It is kind of giving off ancient vibes. Even its name sounds pasty. Wait a sec, I totally forgot! Hey, Arvin! You had Coridon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place! You must know something about it, right? Ugh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice then, but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon, Coridon that is, it was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor! Coridon, which I entrusted to Juliana, was the first Pokémon that was successfully retrieved from the past by my time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclozar, the Pokémon still commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokémon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. Huh? You mean... there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Coridon! A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly! Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time! Family, huh? Yeah. That sounds nice. If we could proceed, Juliana, please disable the next lock using the central panel there. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on to the final research station. These plot twists really tug at the heartstrings, don't they? Not that I'm complaining. You can leave any wild Pokémon up to me. I'll have them beat in no time so we can march on. That other Pokémon really is the only family it has left in the world. It must want to be together again, right? So, Coridon's an ancient Pokémon. No wonder no one's seen it before. <gasps> Juliana, you've got to let me battle Coridon right now! Um, it still won't come out of its Pokéball. Oh, right. That was the first I heard of it coming from the past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my mom brought home all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at the lighthouse lab for a little while. My mom made me promise to keep it a secret. I had to take care of it for her too. So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but then one day Crydon just went nuts against some wild Pokemon. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it, so the secret was out. Once that happened, my mom took it and went back to Area Zero. Guess that makes sense if it's a Pokémon from a different age. Yeah, if people found out, it'd be all over the news. I didn't see my mom or ride on again after that for ages. Oh 
my gosh. Look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. <sighs> One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down there somewhere, waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. All right, team. Watch yourselves, and let's get to the bottom of this thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here, like the stories say. Yeah. This place is like something from a whole other world. It makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me? Or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokémon terrestrialize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody. Let's keep moving. We've got to go all the way down. Looking back on it now, it seems stupid, but... I felt like I'd lost my mom because of Coridon. It was the worst feeling ever. I just hated Coridon and everything about it. Didn't even want to talk about it. I'm sorry for not telling you what I knew sooner, Juliana. You should be sorry! Shoot, that's like the coolest thing ever, and you didn't tell any of us! Yep. Sure would have been great to know all that relevant info before we got here. Dang, you guys! Harsh. So, Kuraidan came to our age through the time machine. Then it lived here a while with the professor, along with another one of its kind? That seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of. Or to its second home, at least. I guess this place should be familiar to it. Sure. Oh, that's great. A chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. That doesn't exactly jibe with how it's been acting all spooked since we got here. It doesn't seem eager to come out of its ball anytime soon, either. Mm, really? I thought it was just scared because we were so high up. Huh? Said it was scared of heights. Hmm. Given how Coridon was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky just seeing a place you've got bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in my class. Just thinking about school made me want to hide away somewhere. So I know how it feels. Aw, Penny. So, maybe it got hurt down here in Area Zero, just like Mabostiff. We can't know for sure, but it doesn't change into its battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. But that's so sad. We gotta do something to make it feel better. I, I no, I'm not just saying that because I super badly want to battle Kuraida myself. Seriously? Well, at least you said it, and not one of us. Nimona, you're... kind of unbelievable. In a mostly good way. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess! It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Uh, professor, you, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. What the heck? Stop that! You're creeping us out! Hello, child. Children. 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 
Initiating restart. The professor must be having some... Uh, some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like... I don't know. If she meant it as a joke, it, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. Forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Looking at the damage, I have a feeling maybe some ferocious Pokemon battled here. Have you disabled the lock yet? I'm all for leaving this place as soon as we can. That... that was almost like... No, it can't be. Definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was just a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed up for more adventuring. What? That got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazzed. You need to go see a doctor. That's just not right. Say, so, I'm pretty sure that call was really... I... never mind. It's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kind of... down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on you to see this through, Juliana. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Voices shall conquer the end.